Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So we are back again with a new interesting video that is how you can check the battery status using Python. Okay, and not only the battery status, we are going to check that how many remaining times are left. Okay, now let's get started with the code. So for checking the battery or for interacting with our system, there is a library that is okay p s utilities okay p s util so the library name is p s util now let me give you some information about this uh, library see this library is a cross platform library in python okay now what is cross platform library it means that it provides us an interface for retrieving the information on our running process okay on our running processes and then system utilization okay uh, how we can utilize the systems means the process which are running our system how we can utilize them such as cpu or about network or about sensors or about memory disk okay so about that so now today we'll use this library to check the battery okay to check the battery status what is the exact battery percentage then we'll calculate the remaining time left okay so this is the use of the library now ps util stands for process and system utilities okay now what we have done here first we have imported so you can do what uh, if it is not installed okay so you can do like this in most of the time it is already present so we don't need to install it but if it is in case not present if your version is little bit old so then what you can do then you can go and explicitly install it by writing pip install okay psutil actually you can see the message also is this is a default library which is already present okay but in some case if it is not then you can run this code okay now we have created an object battery okay and then as you can see from this library we want to access the battery so for that there is a method called sensors battery okay sensors underscore battery okay so psutil dot sensors underscore battery and we have created an object for that so whenever we have to use okay or show the battery so now we are going to use this object name battery okay and then we have taken a condition as you can see what the condition is that if battery is not none means when the battery is not empty okay simply not none means when it is not empty okay so then do what then print the battery percentage okay so we have used the f string so we are printing a string battery percentage and then using this object battery we are accessing an attribute present in this means using this object battery that is percent and then we are again representing a percentage symbol also so that the user can easily see that okay this much percent okay so battery dot percent then again uh, we are printing okay yeah so in the second print we are printing that our uh, system is plugged in or not means it is put on charge or not okay so for that i have again used the f string power plugged in okay it is a string and then i am printing the attribute power underscore plugged so it will give you the status that it is plugged in or not okay so for that we are using the attribute battery dot power underscore plugged so battery is our object name and on that we are using our attribute okay then we have taken a con function over here okay now what is the role of this function okay so let me give you the brief the role of this function in that it will give you the remaining time that how much time is left okay means still how much time you can use your system okay so for that we are doing some conversion okay for that we are doing some conversion okay now we have taken or have created a function using the def keyword define function name convert time and then we are taking an input means a parameter as seconds okay so we are taking a parameter for seconds and based on that second we are going to calculate our hours minutes and seconds okay so for that we are going to use a built-in function that is div mode now what is the use of this function so it is the com 
combine you can say it is a combination of the division and the modulus okay it is a combination of the division and modulus so this div mode takes two parameters once the number which is going to be divided and by the number it is going to be divided okay so second is going to be divided and how many seconds are there in one minute so 60 so we'll write 60 over here okay now this div mode will return two values okay actually it will return the values in a tuple format okay so that's why we are using a tuple unpacking okay we have seen in our previous videos how to do tuple unpacking so it will return the values in tuples it will return two value first it will return the quotient and then it will rem or return the remainder so the quotient will be our minutes and the remainder will be our seconds okay now then we'll get our minute and seconds then again we'll use this div mode method and then this time we'll put our minutes the minutes which we have achieved here that's minutes we are going to put here and then again we are going to divide it by 60 so what will happen then we'll got our then we'll get our hours okay so now we have got our three elements hours minutes and seconds so now we can just represent it so for representing what we are doing for representing because we are inside a function so we are directly returning the statement okay using the return statement so return and here we are using a format specifier okay for displaying for displaying the hours minutes and second so percent d is used to display the integer okay this is also used to display the integer but with zero means if it is okay let me show you if it is one so it will not display like that it is going to display like this zero one okay so because of that because the minutes and the seconds are maybe in this format or maybe it could be this so when it is in double digit then it's fine when it is not in double digits then this should be done so because of that we are using uh, percentage 0 to d it is for the integer only but to get a zero and then for the second also we are doing the same thing then we are using the percentage symbol and we are giving our tuple okay hours minutes and seconds so hours will be assigned to this minutes will be assigned to this and seconds will be assigned to this actually this is a very old format okay this is a very old format to print you can directly use the f string also or the dot format method also okay but uh, i am using this so that this is also a way we have discussed about the f strings and the format specifier in our previous videos but we haven't discussed about this so that's why i'm using this way of string formatting okay then now we have our, our minutes and seconds so what we are going to do now we have to call the functions because calling the if you have created a function so for executing the function codes you have to call the function so then we are calling the function inside the print function that battery remaining time then we are calling the function and we are giving we are using for the seconds input we are giving our attribute present in our battery okay object so that attribute name is seconds left okay sex left it is seconds left that how many seconds are left to our system to get shut down so that seconds will be get inside this convert time and then this convert time will take the seconds and then it will format it okay it will do its work this three line of code will get executed and we'll get our remaining time in this format okay and then now because we have taken a condition for that so in the else we are will print that no better information available in some cases maybe happen that uh, it is unable to fetch so in that case we are printing a default message that no better information available now let's execute the code and let's see what is our output so now you can see that battery percent is 32 okay pretty low and then it is not plugged in and the remaining time is this 57 minutes only okay 57 minutes and 52 seconds now again when you will execute so you will see okay so this is this and it is not always accurate okay as you can see the remaining time is not now it was 52 minutes now it is 48 now uh, so it is not accurate it based on this means how the program is how the program is getting interacted with our system it depends on that means it's not accurate but it's means it's efficient okay so yeah this was how you can check the battery status and check the remaining time okay so i hope you like this video thanks for watching the video till the end uh, we'll see you in the next video